Okay. So you're not willing to say whether you oppose putting signs on people? <laughs> well, I can't thank you for yours because you didn't give me enough. This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. All right, so the Bedford GOP is getting together. They're going to have a uh, an event featuring what I'll call their anointed here in New Hampshire on the national and gubernatorial scene. That means the establishment candidates, uh, Walt Havenstein for governor and uh, Scott Brown running for senator, both considered sort of indistinguishable from Democrats in some ways, but easily distinguishable from freedom folk. You with uh, Governor haven't seen the campaign? Um, yes. Oh, I've got a question for you. I, got, I heard a concern the other day that some of your people had placed signs on someone's property mm -hmm. uh, without asking permission. Did you condone uh, I don't, that? I don't feel like uh, answering. You don't feel like answering questions. That's, that's uh, like a pretty typical politician. Are you going into uh, politics too? No, uh, no, just this is my first job. I see. Um, so you, do you personally condone that or oppose it? Uh, I don't feel like answering, but... You, uh, so you're not you. willing to say whether you oppose uh, putting signs on people? <laughs> well, I can't thank you for yours because you didn't give me enough. I got that impression, yeah. Yeah, he's afraid of the shadow. Look at his what is your, uh, are you a freelance? Yeah, it's Dave Ridley. It's com. It's like a one-man TV station. We like one-man TV stations. <laughs> That's stage. good. I'm I mean, glad. there's a guy named Breitbart and a few other people, right? Good yeah, for you. I have a lot of concerns about what happened to him. Did you I ever mean, get to the bottom of that discussion with Sanborn and the student that wrote the letter? I interviewed him about it the other day, and he sort of swore off of it. He didn't want to talk to me too much that day. He was well, real, should, real polite, but I'll ask him again tonight should, if I get a yeah, chance. No, no, I was there when you asked him. Oh, okay. Patricia, have you talked to the student? Uh, no. Well, what you may find out is that he... Uh, Set the uh, repetitive letters, changing the name on the uh, person sending the letter in order to get a different thing. Somebody is representing it as in some academic exercise. Okay. But this particular student. Uh, so it was had like a one very person. person one person masquerading as three or four people. Well, it wasn't the masquerade. It's just that uh, he hit a live wire and kind of went out a different way. But I think his background might be that he had a, a personal tragedy. Yeah. And the community reached out to him. Uh, and then, now later, he's advocating a, a, a different situation, and he was kind of like walking back from that. And in order to walk back from that, he had to be the a different person because if he was that other person, that sounds really complicated. Uh, <laughs> and that's exactly what Sanborn said. He said it's more complicated than it's kind yeah, of. I mean, I think anyone who snaps out. I mean, there's, I mean, there's a lot of things you could say about Andy Sanborn. Yeah. But, I mean, the fact that he's mean-spirited to college kids that are calling him, are you kidding? He wants college kids to well, talk Well, it's going to be a question. I have, a, you know, I, I, later on I looked up the exact quote, and it's going to be a question of whether, rather, whether he wrote what I've got here, whether, whether he really yeah, wrote that or not. Yeah, but did he sign it as his name, and did he represent him, Did he represent the situation differently? He'll I mean, be able to tell me. You know, you can, yeah. you can get a question in the middle of an interview for a job. It's the same question that you could get in a debate for your political position yeah. and the question is in the context of the question no that's the best thing I ever did in the other contest of the question no I want to do more and then they, they answer it differently yeah I mean you're in the business of language yeah yeah it's important to be fair but yeah the, well, the, no, but the, I, I did see in the interview for night question we do the 25 minutes and I looked at them all and visit went bothered to read an excerpt so almost like a um, she inserted it it was not an an something that Nyquist would have. It was not a question of Nyquist. He just at the end, she said, "Oh, you know, I have to read you this." And then I said, "Now you would never do anything like that." Well, I wouldn't. Well, you know, I'm saying to myself, "Well, they got they got it out, but what is it?" The, so I found out what the story was, and it was. It's like there's got to be more reasons not to vote for Andy Sanborn than some intrigue with a family, a distraught family with a child. Yeah, his voting record is more important. I mean, yeah, I've ambush interviewed him about that too. Yeah, <laughs> so. Just 
Yeah. I mean, are we gonna get in? It's just we get so many large things up there. It's like, true. We do. Yeah. Well, good luck with your little one-man shop. Okay, I appreciate it. Small means nimble. Well, I did like the way you conducted yourself. It was very professional. Oh, thanks. Well, I like oh, the... I mean, you were persistent, respectful when he dodged it, but then you came back at it. I mean, you were very... It's like an investigative person should have been. Oh, thank you. No, I was standing there watching you do it. This guy's good. I appreciate that. Well, I better be good at it by now. LRN.FM, 24 hours of Liberty Radio every day. Now available on satellite, too, at sat.lrn.fm. That's what a satellite sounds like. Put it on your unlicensed station. Wear it in your hair. But above all, don't despair. The Liberty message is getting out. And right now, you're missing it. Or maybe you're not. But skip on over to LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them.